After a whole month has passed by, the star girl of this universe has realized that the world has reached its new low and disasters. So she had to take her matters into her own hands and reset the universe. Her last experiment was to weak to save the world from a disaster. So now the star girl has realized that the world is at the palm of her own hands. What the? I thought you were dead. dead. Wait a minute. Are you the one who made that clone of me so you can kill me? Look, I can explain. You see, I'm actually Pixie. This is just my true form. Pixie? Why would you do this? I thought we were friends. We were friends. That was until you started to improve yourself because of Cherry. She even let you become a main OC for her channel. I was becoming jealous of Cherry always helping you out of your issues, even if you were acting unlikable at times, while I was feeling left out. And because of my envy, I decided that I wanted to take over everything. I was the one who created clones out of your friends, including you, Kinsley. I've made my plan all out of envy. I wanted to see you and Cherry suffer for my wrath! What? You were also the one who made Cherry feel depressed? Of course I was! I was tired of her being nice all the time, and I was tired of being a bad OC! I thought my plan would make me have total control over that channel, but nope! All those stupid clones didn't listen to my orders, and the video file explaining about my plan got stolen! I was being a bad leader, and all I ever wanted was to have revenge! Pixie, I don't know if I should forgive you. You've made all of those people suffer for your wrath and envy. You are acting like a control freak towards everyone. No, you are just a pathetic monster who just hates. <laughs> now let me just say that I'm the biggest hater of Cherry. I hate the way that she didn't know that I revived her. I hate how she left me alone in the universe. And I hate how I got abandoned because of her. But it was never her fault, Pixie. You are just misunderstanding everything. Why are you blaming this on her when this is obviously your fault? You did mention that and you started all this because of your envy and wrath, so the obvious blame is yourself, and I agree with that. You are just a terrible monster who wrecks life's all because you're jealous. Ugh. <laughs> Everything is all your fault! You killed me, framed me, hurt Cherry mentally and physically, and made your clone friends suffer! I hope this universe punishes you, Pixie! You are the biggest control freak I have ever met in my entire life! Go on. Say that you're guilty of everything. Not Cherry. Cherry is so nice and sweet towards everyone. She wouldn't do this. You started this because of your envy. You're just the queen of hating. I can't say anything bad about myself. I just can't. I don't want to. I refuse to. You know what? Fine. I don't even think you deserve to live now. Not so fast, Kinsley. She still has a good heart. It's just been all rotten out by hate. Wait, I remember you. I remember you too. You were once a creamy gotcha life number block so see during 2020 whenever the creator didn't have a YouTube channel back then. I don't want to talk about it, but why are you stopping me? Yeah, I can't hate myself due to my narcissistic personality. I don't even think I deserve to live anymore. Wait a minute, are you? Universal? Of course I am. I know how broken you are, Pixie. First, your best friend Sala left you for a career of pride. Second, you were left alone in the universe while everyone else was teleporting to a new one. Third, you tried to team up with Kinsley to improve herself but you were left alone again. Well, I must admit for a third one that I'm not that good at giving advice. I thought that would help her become a better person. Now that I think about it, I think you might have abandonment issues, Pixie. Actually, I think I do. I've ruined people's lives because I didn't want to be left alone. But I still couldn't hate myself because of how narcissistic I could be. I thought that hating yourself would ruin you mentally. I'm already ruined. I hate myself. 
Is it weird that I already feel bad for her even though I called her a monster? No need to feel weird about it. She's already been broken because of how she was abandoned. I don't think you even realized it at the first place. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pixie. I don't know if I can fix this. Don't worry. I'll fix all of this. In this new world, there will be no more trouble in the channel. And if someone tries to cause trouble, I will punish them. Right now, I'm waiting for you two villains to make a change. A change? Well, I refuse to do that. I'd rather die because of the sin I've committed. Actually, you know what, Pixie? I think I might have a plan. Universal. I want Pixie to no longer be a powerful demigod. She has been suffering with her power she got from the corruption of her hometown. And it's best for you to get rid of her power. I don't want her to be evil anymore. Oh, and another thing, I want to be stepping down as a main OC. It can be a huge responsibility and I'd rather do my own stuff. I understand how the others can struggle at times. And I actually rather keep the main OC limit to be four. But if they ever need a break, I actually do have a list of who can replace them. I've made it since I've been seeing Cindy's mental struggles. Your choice is very smart, Kinsley. I'm so glad that you still gave Pixie a chance to be a better person. I didn't really think that I would deserve it, actually. But now that I think about it, I would like to be not as powerful anymore. Kinsley, I'm sorry for going way too far off the line due to my envish behavior. It's okay, Pixie. I understand how broken you were. Well then, your wishes have been accepted. Uh, guys, I think the universe just reset itself. I think you may be correct, Cherry. Everything feels weirdly normal and there's barely any chaos happening. Also, Cindy is asleep and I don't know where Izzy went. But I think for now we should just ignore the whole universe resetting itself thing. By the way, I think you just got a new look, Cherry. A sticker has replaced your scar and your eyes look similar to Kinsley's. And I believe that the new look is very cute. Oh! Thanks, Darla. I didn't even realize it until now. You're welcome. Now let's just go wake up Cindy and then we'll move on from what just happened. Um, where am I? Don't you remember me, Izzy? No, but how did you already know my name? I've created you into this universe to protect the others, but because of that mirror always trapping you, I've realized that you are too weak. Now I need to take everything as my responsibility. Wait a minute. If you're basically God, and you've created me into this universe, then that means... That's right, Izzy. You are a demi-god.